Well, new here at 6 o'clock, we've seen the damage that winter storms can do to power lines all across our state. And that got us thinking in tonight's Question Everything. WBZ's Mike Sullivan asks, why don't we put all of our power lines underground? To a neighborhood, they are as present as the roads, as visible, too. They go down essentially every street, they connect to every house. Power poles litter our landscape, yet when they go down, they litter our streets. They leave communities in the dark. I think everybody thinks that there is an easy button for how to run infrastructure. Just put all the poles underground, right? New developments do it. Why can't the entire state? That money adds up pretty quickly. Eversource reps say it costs two to six million dollars per mile to convert overhead lines to underground. With 11,000 miles of line, in 2021, it would cost 22 to $66 billion to convert Eversource's lines. Former Governor Deval Patrick once estimated the cost at $1 trillion to convert all the lines in the state. You could potentially be talking about digging up every sidewalk, at least on one side of this, through every municipality. Chris McKinnon is a rep for Eversource. When a tree falls onto a line, we can see exactly where that tree fell, what the damage was, and start making the repair immediately. Underground lines involve a bit of guess and check digging to find the problem. We'd have to say, okay, what are the benefits? The process isn't as simple as taking everything up here, digging a hole, and putting it all on the ground. So we actually have to build out infrastructure underground to house all of that equipment as well. Depending on where you live, that can mean trouble. Water and electricity do not mix. Scott Aronson is with the Edison Electric Institute. He says places with high water tables can pose flooding problems within the lines. In some parts of the country, you're going to have really hard rock. Getting through that really hard rock just isn't worth the trouble. So where does it make sense? In places where there is already the underground infrastructure. If you look at a big city like Boston, um, you know, a lot of the electric equipment is already housed underground. Aronson says Pacific Gas and Electric in Northern California announced a project to put vast miles of lines in the state underground. Given the number of wildfires that they have had in that region, uh, the cost of not putting them underground was just too great. That's really what it comes down to, cost analysis. Individual companies and individual communities uh, have to determine whether or not it's the right solution for them. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Well, it's an interesting question. And as soon as you hear the price tag, you go, ah, well, maybe not. Right, but in some cases, the price of not doing it is also so Absolutely. high the debate continues. No question. If you have a question you would like us to answer, you can always email us, question everything, at cbsboston.com, or you can tweet us with the hashtag WBZ Question Everything. We'll be